Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this week's video. This week's video is my rare plant wish list for 2022. And I know, I know, I've had big wish lists in the past. This one is not that big. This one has nine plants on it, I do think, if I've counted correctly. I don't know. I tried to make it ten, but I couldn't find anything. Not that you should be putting things on your wish list to make numbers, make round numbers. That's that's a sign of a problem. You should probably not do that. Anyway, we're going to get right into it. I do have some repeat repeats of last year that I did not acquire, and some really new interesting ones that I did not know about at all. So I'm kind of excited. There's only a couple of varieties, so I think I have like, I think I have Maranta, Philodendron, Alocasia, Monstera. So there's not many varieties of things, but I, I hope you find them really interesting because some of these are really quite cool. I really want to hear your opinions. So kicking it off straight away. I'm going to go through Philodendron first. I've kind of organized this a little bit. So First plant I want to talk to you about today is the philodendron that I did not acquire last year. And that's because, I've said this before, they are apparently really, really unstable. That philodendron is the philodendron golden dragon variegated. Now then, I am not going to shit talk this plant. This plant is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. I love the green form. If you don't know me, if you, this is your first time watching this channel, I'm obsessed with the green form, which is a golden dragon. It just so happens that this one is variegated and it, some plants look better variegated. I I say this all the time and some just don't. This is one that I think looks better variegated and I, I really love this plant but as I said they're very unstable so the variegation is just really chaotic and it can disappear and come back and go green and go all white and be not there at all and it's a nightmare. I would still like to have one. I'm still on the hunt. I just need to hear better things because money is precious and I'm not spending that much money on something that might revert because I'm pretty sure these things are thousands. We're talking about thousands here. So I'm not going to spend anything until I get either A, a great specimen that looks stable, or I just hear better things, or I can get a better deal on one or two leaves or something. I don't know. I don't see them about very often at all. And I can only assume that this is actually the reason why, i.e. that they don't propagate very well because they're unstable and they revert or whatever. So I'm assuming that's why we don't see them. But to the lucky people that do have them, congratulations, they're stunning. And I still love them just as much. I'm just kind of putting a caveat out there that the quality is not up and the investment is not necessarily worth it yet. But if I find a good specimen, I'm going to go for it. But until then, I mean, it's been a year. It's been a year. And I still haven't found one. Next on the list is no surprise if you watch my channel regularly. This is the Philodendron Red Moon and it is awesome. So this took me a little while to figure out and I know I've said this before but I'm going to repeat myself in the most succinct way as possible. But the leaves on this, it grows in kind of like a rosette pattern but it has a little bit of length to the petioles on it and the leaves come in a bright yellow and they fade down to green but what's cool about this because a lot of plants do that i do have a full video on it i will link it below this plant can get these big red fire truck crayola red chunks on the leaves and it looks incredible it's not permanent it does fade down but it's a really good alternative if you're looking for something that's colorful but you don't want to take for example the gamble like with the last plant the golden dragon right it's less of a gamble this plant will always do this it's not going to stop doing this it's permanent so it is a lot of money i think they're in the, the high hundreds i think something like that last time i checked they're selling for quite a lot they've had a mini boom recently i think there might be a little bit of a dare i say like a spring it plant kind of thing it'd be cool if it lasts all year but i you never know with these things, do you? Nevertheless, I really, really want one. I'm going to stick in a picture because I didn't do it last time. Stick in a picture of what the petioles look like when this colouring comes through because it's awesome. It's like a really nice candy cane type thing on the caterpillar. I know a lot of other plants do it, but this just looks extra cool. So there's another one on the wish list for me. I know that shouldn't be a surprise to some people because obviously I've mentioned this before. Right, next plant is also one that was on my wish list. I know, I'm sorry. Trust me, I've got some new stuff for you though. So this plant here is the philodendron polypoidioides. Polypoidioides, I think that's how you say it. So this has been on my wish list before and whew, sorry, I'm way too hot. The thing is about this, I think people don't realize this isn't tortum, philodendron tortum. I'll show you one now. Philodendron tortum, it, these aren't the same plants, guys, at all. And um, this one has a much higher value, actually. Now, you can kind of see the difference between this leaf and the leaf of a tortum. This leaf here is very much like a pedatum, only like it's like a pedatum crossed with a tortum, if anything. You can see it's got lobes 
on this one, whereas the totem doesn't have that. It's more like a palm leaf. They're very, very different. Now, these aren't for everyone at all. Like, they're really not. It's possibly the same type of vibe like Philodendron UPI, for example, that plant. Not a lot of people want them. Highly collectible, don't get me wrong. Very good value on them. But they're not sexy. They're not trendy. Do you know what I mean? This is a plant here. This isn't trendy in any way. Like, this isn't going to have a huge following or anything like that. It never has. But I still like it. I don't even know why I like it. I can't even articulate why I like it, but I like it. God, it's so hot. It's so hot in here. I've had these lights going for a little while <laughs> and I'm starting to cook a little bit. So, hope you like my new light, by the way. It's very cool. It does like any color, but today we've gone with orange. So, yeah, I've never seen this plant in real life, actually. Um, I've seen a lot of plants in my time. I haven't seen this one in real life, so maybe I might be underwhelmed when I see it in real life. Maybe I might be like, holy shit, this is the best thing that ever happened to me. I don't know. Let's find out when I eventually find it, because I, again, I don't even see this sold. I literally don't see this sold. I don't think anyone cares. Honestly, I don't think anyone cares. <laughs> I care, though, so I'd like to have one. I do think you might care about this one, though, and I've known about this for a while, but I've, I've recently started finding it more and more attractive. You know, I'm developing a bit of a crush on this plant. This is the Philodendron Red Congo Variegated. You need a good specimen, but the variegation on this is so, so similar. If I could, like, describe it and compare it to a plant, it's very similar to a caramel marble, the way that this variegation comes out. Not only that, this plant is a lot of money, right? I think we're in the thousands for this one, but I'm pretty sure it's less than a caramel marble. So if you actually prefer the shape of this, then you might want to switch to this rather than trying to get the caramel marble. It has the same variegation, but it's a completely different shape. It's like a sawtooth shape. So just putting that out there, from what I can see, it's got the same sort of tones where it comes in a caramel color and it fades to like this creamy color. Obviously, I'm, I'm looking at the picture on my phone now. It's really, really pretty and I really like it. And I don't usually like stuff like this. Although I've always said I like the caramel marble, but I'm not paying that amount of money for it. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm just not, I'm just not. One day it will be propagated enough and it will be available again because it used to be. Anyway, we're not talking about the caramel marble. So this plant is really, really nice. It grows quite big because it is a Congo. Congos grow really big. So this one would be quite impressive if you grew it big. I just really like it. And I have a feeling that other people would like this as well. If you've never seen this plant before, um, I feel like you would see this on this video and be like, mm, this is quite nice. Again, loads of money. Not a ton of them kicking about, but this is why it's a wishlist plant, right? Because if you don't aspire to something, you're wasting your time, quite frankly. Oh, the next plant I need to take a breath for because I'm not breathing enough in between my sentences. I think it's because I'm getting very hot. So the next plant, we need we need to take a little pause on this wish list. And I need to tell you s quite a few things about this next plant, right? Because I just had this on my wish list this morning. This is a new plant. It is a hybrid. It's not something that I even knew about until I think very early January, right? So I'm going to tell you the plant and then we're going to talk about it a little bit longer than the others because it's really important, actually. So this here that I'm showing you now is the Philodendron Gloriosum by Philodendron Maximum. I'm going to talk about its appearance very quickly and then we'll get into we'll get into it, right? This is basically my desired hybrid of the year. Love it. I think it's great. I don't see very many around and I've written this down as a note because I didn't and then I found out why. Originally I saw this and I've seen a few plants with variegated speckles and honestly I didn't know if it was viral or variegation or what because it just looked a bit weird and it looked a bit like a Thai constellation but not and I was just a bit, I, I don't know is the answer. I don't know what the source was. I didn't know if like the odd one has a problem because sometimes you get leaves with all green. So I just put it down as a note to mention that I wasn't sure. But anyway in terms of the hybrid it's quite easy to see where the Gloriosum comes from. You get the white veins you get the big pillowiness of it and the maximum philodendron maximum has more muted veining down the center but it's it's longer and it's almost i would say kind of like webbed on the on the edges of the leaf it kind of looks a bit roughly a bit frilly a bit well webbed right so that's kind of what you're seeing there in terms of like the two different plants kind of coming together and it's really really nice what i didn't know about this was that it was created by an individual i believe in florida i'm very sorry i cannot remember your name as of filming this right now but i will put the person's name along the bottom of the screen so the person's name that is on the bottom of the screen is the original creator of this plant they hybridized these plants themselves and apparently what has happened is when they created the hybrid of gloriosum and maximum the plants have produced this weird variegation-like effect. And the creator of this plant says that you can occasionally get flex and you can occasionally get big patches of variegation. I'll try and put a picture in of the big patch of variegation that you can get from this plant. So it's really kind of interesting. The thing is, this person is selling this plant and releasing this plant and they are doing so with essentially a contract that basically, there's different types of contract, I believe, um, there's, I think there's a contract where you can buy it and agree not to sell it. 
and a contract where you can buy it and agree to distribute it and royalties will be paid to the person that created the plant, this person's name on the screen. That is already in place and there are individuals that are already doing that. I know that might seem a bit weird, but this is essentially intellectual property, so they are free to do that and that is what has been done so far. So what is happening is that this creator of this plant will sell this plant to someone and they will have to sign a contract that basically says if I sell this plant, you will be paid royalties for it. And if this person sells the plant to someone else, that new person has to also sign the contract saying, yes, I agree that if I sell this plant, I pay royalties to the original source of the plant, not the person that I bought the plant from, but this original person's name here. That's all well and good, except I was looking for this plant this morning and I didn't know this information, right? I didn't know. I came to know by way of Facebook groups, I think there's a post in a group I think that I was sent, but I was offered this plant this morning from a source in Thailand with no mention of such contract or anything of the sort. And this person had already bought this off another person in Thailand. So it's already making the rounds in Thailand without the contract. Now I will say it once and once only, if you're going to purchase this plant, get in touch with the original creator of this plant. I know there might be some debate as to whether that's the right thing to do or not, but put yourselves in the creator's position. If you created this plant and it was your intellectual property and whatever else, you would do exactly the same thing. You would set out the contracts, you would have people abide by them. So please do the right thing. But anyway, I wanted to put that out there. That's all I know about it at the minute and I'm happy to have a great discussion on this plant and the whole, you know, the contract thing in general and all that kind of thing because it, it's it's an interesting topic and I, I know this sort of thing happens but I don't think we typically talk about it or see it or anything else so I wanted to put that out there this is a cool plant and I still want it and all the rest it's just it's not quite that simple but I'm, I'm still very interested in having it basically and I think it's beautiful and I really like it I'm curious to know about the variegation and, and how that works but I really wanted to put that out there that that is a thing that is happening and someone's already gone against the contract so just please, please play by the rules, guys. That's We just need a little bit of transparency and just people doing the right thing. Honestly, people doing the right thing. But that's what I want to say. I just want to reinforce that there is a contract in place. You should not be offered that plant without being offered to sign a contract to do with royalties and everything else. And anyone selling that plant without, you know, in possession of a signed contract is in a spot of trouble, should we say. Anyway, moving on, just wanted to put that out there because this is all new to me. So I'm learning this at the same time. Right, we now have an alocasia. It is the only alocasia on this list. Now, I don't put alocasia on this list because they're terrible at shipping and I'll get into that in one second. But this, this beautiful thing is gonna take a lot of people by storm if you don't know what it is or you've never seen it. This here is the alocasia serendipity. And it's beautiful, is it not? It's absolutely beautiful. So if you like Pink Princess, Philodendron Pink Princess, this is your plant. If you like alocasia, you want alocasia, this this basically is your plant. Now it's got a value. Um, it, it's well in the four digits, I think. I don't know, I might be wrong if I am, correct me. I'm pretty sure it is in four digits. I don't even see it sold that much. And if it is sold, there's a, there's a whopper of a price on it. You feel me? The thing with me is that I know personally how alocasia ship. Now they might not ship badly when they're in a pot of soil within say the United States, it's probably fine. But when you send them overseas and anyone that owns a shop that imports from say Thailand, Indonesia, whatever, you will attest to this, they will drop all their leaves and go back to the comb and then you have to grow them back out, which is fine. But in the case of something variegated, you can make a judgment based off what leaves are there. Like for example, the one I'm looking at, I don't know if it's the one I'm showing you. In fact, I'll just make sure it's the one I'm showing you. The one I'm looking at has good spread, but I know all of that's going to go. If I were to buy that plant right now, I know that's going to go. And when it gets to me, it's going to be a comb, which is fine. But then you don't know how it's going to grow back. I don't entirely know how the variegation works in this plant. So I want to tell you that so you can do your own research. So you don't waste thousands of pounds or hundreds of pounds or whatever it is. So you're well informed before you make the decision to even put this on your wish list. So that's what I know about it. But I, I do like it. But the weird thing about me is, you know, I say that I don't like pink. And honestly, guys, I don't. But I see things every so often, I'm like, ooh, shiny, and I, I like it. I shouldn't like this. I shouldn't, because I don't look pink, but I really do. I like it, I want it. Will I get it? Don't know, haven't seen one. Like, I'm not just saying this and like, I know where they all are, I don't. I, I haven't seen one for a while, so. Mm. My only Maranta on this list, because I have a few, I have the one with the pink stripes, which is like the most common you can get in the UK. I have the lemon lime, which I believe is the most common you can get in America. I have the silver band, which is quite rare. Don't know how rare it is as of recording this, but it's quite rare. And I do have a Maranta no ID somewhere. <laughs> I don't think it's growing very well at all, actually, which is weird, because the rest do. 
But what I don't have is the Marantha Black. And it's a little bit like a silver band, only there's more black on it. But I really, really want these. I don't actually know where you get them from. I feel like at one point, was some, there was a retailer, I think, in the USA selling them. And I don't think they had a ton of them. And after that, I don't know where you get them from. I actually don't know who's selling them, but I would really, really like one. So I can't tell you how rare they are. I can't tell you how much they are. I can't tell you anything. I haven't seen them personally. I don't think, I don't like saying this because then I'll say it and then it'll be everywhere. I haven't seen them in Europe though, I don't think. I certainly haven't seen them in the UK. So they might be more residing in the US. I haven't seen them in Thailand or anything like that. Thailand tend not to touch Maranta and stuff like that because it's just a nightmare for them because they, they don't ship. I get it. Um, so yeah, don't know where to get it from, but I would really like one. Um, I think they're absolutely amazing and it's weird because I like Aroids but I still love Maranta. I just think they're so cute. It's a plant that can get stressed a lot. I identify with that so much on a level that you can never understand. I love it. I love everything that's difficult. I don't know why I do it to myself, honestly. But yeah, that's my only Maranta on this list. Now moving on. This is going to surprise some people and it surprises me. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to give it a go because I'm all for changing opinions and I'm all for learning new things and getting new experiences. I have two Monstera on this list. One I had no idea existed. I'm very excited about it. The second one I did know existed. The one I'm going to talk about now, I, I knew it existed, but I, I didn't know, I didn't know how, um, how do I say this? I didn't know how, what's the word? I don't even know what word I'm looking for. I didn't know if it could sustain itself, basically. But the plant I'm talking about is the Monstera White Monster. You're going to look at probably the picture I'm showing you and you're probably going to think there's no way that's staying alive. And I thought that for a long time. Um, it would appear that it, it does. It does stay alive. I know. I know. I, I, that, that this is why I haven't put it on my list. This is why I've held back. So the plant is mainly creamy white coloured, um, but it does have some green in it. Mainly down the main, um, like the midrib, the main vein going down the middle and it can kind of kind of balloon out a little bit but even looking at that plant there at least the picture i'm looking at it it would appear that it does sustain itself now i'm not saying it's not going to burn to a crisp of course it bloody will of course it will jesus i don't know where you're going to put that if you want it but keep it in the shade you feel me but i kind of want to try it because apparently it is sustaining itself so it's not going to die off because i don't support buying anything you know with a lack of chlorophyll but apparently this is proving people wrong i don't know i'd like to try it so stay tuned for that i'm definitely going to try it another thing that does attract me to this plant though is the fact that it's large form Monstera. I honestly think, I was thinking about this this morning when I was getting ready, and I really feel like if it was small form, I wouldn't bother. I don't really know why that is, but I think, because the next plant I'm going to show you as well is large form, but I feel like I wouldn't bother if it was just regular old Monstera, because I think a lot of people kind of take the piss with those and they come up with all these new cultivars or cultivars, and they're just not, they're just not. Um, you get a lot of crap buying Burgay Monstera. As you know, I've done a full video on it, I'll link it below, but you get a lot of crap. But apparently they say in it, from what I know of recording this video, apparently they say in it, so I'm going to get one at some point, as soon as I find one. They are a lot of money. Again, these, these things are not cheap, hence are on a wish list, guys. Um, I'm going to try it out and see, see if it is actually sustainable, and then we'll find out together. I'll do a little experiment and we will document it, and we will see if it actually stays alive and what the problems are. I suspect it doesn't grow very quickly. Again, could be wrong. I don't think I am, but we'll find out, I guess, when I get my hands on one. Right, last plant on my list. I didn't know about, I don't know if this is for everyone, but it's for me, right? It's for me. So the last plant I'm going to show you, I don't know how many people know about this. I haven't seen people talk about it. I only found out about it yesterday and it's gone straight on. This here that I'm showing you right now is known as the Monstera Miracle. So it basically, it's a it's a large form monster and it features cream and yellow variegation. Now I'm looking at a picture now and I, I took the liberty of zooming in, as you do. And what I think has happened is, I think this is a Thai constellation, guys. I think it's a Thai constellation with yellow variegation on it. And I don't think that devalues it in any way, by the way. I'm not saying that. I just, I'm saying I think that's what is underneath. So I think it's a, it's a Thai constellation with yellow variegation. A lot of people call this Monstera tricolor, if you're looking for it. Again, I don't think you'll find it very much. I'm sure there are a lot out there, but it's not well, I want to say well documented. You know what I mean? There's, there's not a ton. Like, I like to think I know about a reasonable amount of plants and I had no idea this was a thing. So maybe I'm just out of the loop. Let me know if you know about this plant down below because I'd be really curious. But yeah, it's not for everyone because not everyone likes yellow. I get that. But it is definitely for me because I love large form Monstera. I love the green form. I love the Thai. I love the yellow variegated form that I've got that's large. I love it all. I love it all. So obviously I'm going to love that. Yeah, I guess the value on it, it, it depends what value you want to put on it. I'll say it now in case it is, but take this with a pinch of salt because we don't know if this is a Thai constellation. Because they're TC'd so frequently, you can bet that in the future these may start to occur. 
because there's mutations in this. I've talked about this a million times. I don't want to talk your ear off, but it might happen. Be that as it may, there aren't any right now, so I guess there is a bit of a value, but I want to let you know that that could happen. Right. So, for example, if you take variegated raphidophora tetrasperm, that's a that's a big one. A lot of people have, have historically spent a lot of money on these plants in various different countries and stuff. I wouldn't recommend it because they come out more and more and there's, there's hundreds of them in existence now. This could get like that is what I'm saying if it's a tie. So just be careful. Maybe not quite as much because raphidophora, the green version, is produced more than Thai is. But I'm just letting you know it, it could occur. So I, I don't know how useful that is because there's not many out there. But I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, I think it's awesome and I would, I would be thrilled to have one. I would love to sell them because I, I do personally think that people would like these. Let me know if you like it in the comments. Let me know if you hate it. Let me know what you think about the white monster, Monstera. Let me know what you think about the Allocation Serendipity. Let me know what you think of the Philodendron Gloriosum by Maximum and that whole thing. Let me know what you think about the Philodendron Red Congo. The rest, well, I probably know your opinions on because <laughs> these are more um, new plants that I'm showing you. So I really would love to know your opinions on them. Are there any that you've put on your wish list? What is your wish list? I would love to know because I don't tend to talk to other people about their wish lists because mine just tend to be weird anyway. Again, there's not many on the list, but it's not about how many plants are on your wish list. It's not about how much they are either. You know, it, it doesn't matter. None of it matters. It's just something that you'd like to have that makes you happy when you look at it, you know? So you do you. It doesn't matter what's on your wish list. Don't, don't not write a comment about what's on your wish list because it's not rare. It's not expensive. Please don't feel that way. I would hate to think that someone would come to my channel and feel that way. And if I've ever made anyone feel that way, I would love to work on changing it because that's not what I want this channel to be. I want to share the different plants, be transparent about what they cost, how they can occur and everything else. I want to do that. So I would really encourage you to share any plants that are on your wish list. I don't care if it's not an aroid, guys. I don't care if it's not rare. I don't care if it's not an aroid. Let me see what is on your wish list. I would love to see. So with that, me and my ridiculously purple eyeshadow are going to go. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, again, let me know what you thought down below. Any extra information or videos or anything I mentioned, hopefully I've put them in the description. If I haven't, please pester me. I'm very forgetful. I can't help it. I guess if you like this video, please leave a like down below. It really, really helps me out. And if you'd like to see any more of my content, then please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next week. Bye.